Guadalmina, that's what we're going to talk about today. Now that's not some horrible disease, that's a place uh, near, San, near San Pedro, between San Pedro and Estepona. And that's where our office is located, for those of you who want to venture and come and see us. Um, and I've brought in the local expert, Paul Gazella yeah. Costa, who's one of our, our top guys in the uh, Cloud9 team, and he lives in Guadalmina. Absolutely. So I'm going to, to kind of ask you for your pros and cons, what you love about it, what you hate about it. Uh, first of all, where is it? Well, Guadalmina, mm -hmm. if you know Marbella area, you're traveling from Marbella, you see Puerto Banos, you go a bit further, you're in San Pedro de Alcantara where they built the new tunnel. As you're coming out of the tunnel, the next exit is Guadalmina, right there. So we're, I would say, closer to San Pedro de Alcantara. In yeah. fact, our zip code is, belongs to San Pedro de so Alcantara, a Alcantara, which is a suburb also yeah. of Marbella, which yeah. all yeah. belongs to. So, to Guadalmina, so Guadalmina is in Marbella. Yeah. And we're literally, I would say, what, six, seven minutes to Puerto Venus? Yeah, definitely. 10 minutes, definitely. 15 minutes to Marbella? To Marbella, yeah. yeah. And the same to West Estepona, so, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Except in August, you have to add a August. little bit, five, 10 minutes more. <laughs> Don't go out, basically. <laughs> Who lives in Guadalmina? Well, it's very interesting because the story, the background of Guadalmina comes from a, a man, his name was Norberto Goizueta from Navarra. From He's the been north spotted. of Spain. You've been spotting up on this, haven't you? <laughs> yeah. But uh, he was on his, on his yacht traveling from the north of Spain, going around, and they saw the land in back in, I have the year, 1933. Wow. Purchased the land, and in 1959, what they did was started to lay out the, uh, the golf course, the yeah. south golf course. There's two golf courses, the north course and the south course. And it's really funny because the, the farmers from San Pedro area saw him planting 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 and then mowing the lawn mowing and so they kept on saying if you keep on mowing the lawn you're not gonna uh, you're not gonna grow anything no wheat and no 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 corn <laughs> they can't so stop doing that he said no you have to understand that it takes a few years to grow a golf course for for the for the wow. sport and and he started doing that and they were like he's crazy <laughs> he's crazy and that's what turned in uh, to a beautiful area where the Spanish, as you know, from Madrid, from Barcelona, from the North Bilbao area, they started to buy and make villas, build villas in Guadalmina Baja. That's also another thing important to say. There's Guadalmina Baja and Guadalmina Alta. And Guadalmina Baja was what was started first around the South Course. And it's just the villas, as you all know, average size plots, there's 3,000 square meters. Yeah. Plus. And it is so. it is home to the Spanish nobility, isn't it? Exactly. I mean, you've got ex prime ministers, oh yeah, royal bankers. Yeah. yeah, it's beautiful, and that's the difference between, I would say, Guadalmina Baja and Guadalmina Alta is the quality, size, and built price of the villas down there. Whereas in Guadalmina Alta, it's a beautiful area as well, as you all know, mm -hmm. built also on the golf course and part on the north course. You can get much better price on properties, but you're not beachside. So that's so, the trade-off. So that's the trade-off. Okay. But we have a beautiful shopping center here. Yeah. Which is now it's actually up and coming because they're actually doing things right as far as like coming in and parking and so forth. They're gonna build build a new parking in the Guadalmina shopping center. Are they? It'll happen. Yep. It's going to happen, but they'll start building in September since you're not allowed to do that now. Uh, I remember when we took good. this office in 2012. God, we were brave, weren't we? Um, <laughs> it was obviously just after the, well, the, the recession, the big recession was coming to an end. And we, we took a punt on this office. We got it at a, at, a, at a fair price, but there was hardly anyone on this upper floor. Obviously, all the units downstairs all were taken. Down. Yeah. yeah, but on the, and now I look around us and every unit is taken. Yeah. So a lot of the, the, the cars that are parked are probably people who are working here. That's it. They're on the top floor. But there's well. quite an eclectic yeah. mix of businesses here, aren't there? In terms of bars and restaurants, we've you got... have everything. I mean, we've even got a dry cleaners that's just converted to a Lebanese takeaway. <laughs> that doesn't happen anywhere else. That fascinated me. I couldn't believe that. But Paul we was also, a bit concerned uh, about that. I was, and I, I, I'll, we'll see how long it lasts, <laughs> but I hope it lasts. But we, you come here, you also have Iceland. That, 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 yes, uh, not the country, uh, the, 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 shop. the shop. You yeah. go in there and you have all those the yeah. foods. Oh. You have a pharmacy that you go to. <laughs> You have the, it's unbelievable. You have we've got it all. No, yeah. We've got some great restaurants. We've got, was it Pes Pescador? 
which is always busy, yeah. full of Spanish. Well, the Spanish fine. love it. We've got fantastic the, food. The world famous Asador, which is yes. the place it, when they introduced <laughs> the smoking ban in Spain. There was one guy who just refused to adhere to the, the law, and it was the owner of the Asador. He <laughs> He's put a up, character. He just put up photo, uh, like signs yeah. everywhere, didn't he? Saying basically, Same. smoke as much as you want. Yeah. I don't care. Yeah. And he was fine. He paid fines. Yeah. Yeah. And now he's against the government, so he has oh, an even totally, bigger yeah. sign yeah. on top saying that the government should step back. But we're not going to go into politics. No, we're so not going to go into politics. Not now. But, <laughs> but be, you have everything. There must be 15, 20 restaurants. Yeah, There's and also um, nationalities of foods. Yeah. Thai, yeah. Thai restaurant, the Japanese is really good. Spanish, of course, tapas, bilbao bar is very it's good. a good supermarket. And I have to give a mention to Tricky Ricky's. A Tricky Ricky's Ricky would kill me if I didn't. Please. So if you want an English breakfast, if oh. you're a little bit delicate after a, you know, a heavy night, Perfect Tricky place. Ricky's is your place, but they don't accept cards. So it's That's real food for real on. money. <laughs> uh, but you know what? The one thing that concerns me a little bit about Guadalupe, yeah. I've got to be honest, is all these lovely restaurants. <sighs> but you're kind of sat in a car park on the highway, aren't you? Isn't that incredible? <laughs> but they're still full? <laughs> the new place that just opened, Soho Market, Friday afternoons. Yes. Yes. It's a local place that us real estate agents go and have a yeah. gin tonic. It's packed. Yeah. You have to wait or reserve a table. Yeah. If not, it's really funny to say you can sit on the table, but at 8.30, the person who reserved it is coming and that time comes and you got to go out. Yeah, it's and you're sitting on the freeway. Yeah, you it's, are. It is yeah, you could be down it's at the beach or you could be in a lovely authentic Spanish town, but no, you're sat basically in a car park on the freeway. It is a true phenomenon. I'm going to answer the question why it's full. It's so comfortable. It's so yeah. comfortable yeah. living here. Yeah. My children can walk to San Pedro and on occasions they call me and pick them up or they use a uber if i don't want to go but it's perfect for location you can get to san pedro san pedro to marbella on the back roads without having even to touch the yeah. national 340. yeah so it's there's tricks for the locals you can get all the way to benavis road through the back as well to uh, yeah. to los, yes. um, los, los arqueros, arqueros. So, yeah. Exactly. So location-wise, it's fantastic. Then also you have the golf club, which is amazing. The restaurant's open to the public for right. a good meal. Very, very nice restaurant there. Great people. Yeah. It's it's just like, um, also, it's so international. It's so cosmopolitan. Okay. Just on our street, there's 10 nationalities. 10 nationalities. Really? Yeah. Wow. Just right there on, on our street. What can you get for so, your money in Guadalmina? So if I if I had a budget of, I don't know, 300,000 euros, what, yeah. what could I buy? You, know, you have to go up a little bit, but um, you can get a nice apartment, mm -hmm. two bedrooms, two bathrooms for 300,000 okay. euros. If you want to step up a level and get a townhouse, mm -hmm. looking at 380 okay. right now, what okay. we have in the Guadalajara Alta. And what about area. for a villa with my own pool? Villa, 1 million euros really? right now. Yeah, with your own swimming pool, privacy, nice garage space. Because you're negotiating on one at the moment. It's just below that, aren't you? It's but just it's, below It's that. a great deal. Yes, um, exactly. Yeah, okay. It's a beautiful, beautiful property. But then that's Guadalmina Alta. If you go down the wheeling, Guadalmina Baja, then now we're right. talking different numbers. Yeah, yeah. Uh, plot, the cheapest plot for sale there is nearly 2 million euros right now. Really? Yeah. It's a nice size, 5,000 square meters. Wow. Wow. So, and a lot of construction going on as well. Uh, people have bought plots and are building beautiful modern style villas it's amazing I, I, I guess because of Guadalmina's kind of history and the fact it's been going for so long most of the plots have been built on and and you know so there's not a lot not a lot of new builders there's not a lot of new build multifamily homes it's it's yeah. villas yet yeah, getting reformed and empty plots getting developed but there's not a lot of new apartment stock coming to market in Guadalmina no isn't? there's nowhere to to do no. this no. that's the thing okay so chances are if you want villas. an apartment you're gonna have to to buy something a little bit older yeah, and refurbish and maybe refurbish yes okay. and as you know like close to the shopping center there are good prices there around the 280 300 000 yeah. euros and they're great um, for rental they're perfect aren't they because you oh, can walk out to everything and you can walk everywhere yeah. absolutely even to the beach because yeah. you know we have the um, pedestrian cross yeah over here and it's it's really really convenient very comfortable very so, good yeah so guadalmina gets the gets the thumbs up as i say we've based ourselves here uh, for an office paul lives here with his family I don't um, live in the office. I live in the road. <laughs> I hope there's no shower. Um, uh, sometimes, yes. <laughs> couch back there. Just closes the curtains and, and that's it. Um, no, but Guadalmina is definitely worth checking out. It, it offers something for everyone, I think. Yeah. Very cosmopolitan, commercial facilities, golf, and close to the action. It is. Come and visit. Come and visit.